Hi you guys. So today is Saturday. I'm not doing a vlog. I did one yesterday. So as I just promised you guys, I was gonna do the Closet Confidential tag. And right before I do that, I want to point out one thing in my vlog yesterday. I did not show you my spring nails. So here they are. They're yellow. They're um they're not a brand that I don't think is available anymore it's like um hard candy splendid one no it was zero zero four nine i don't think they have that anymore at walmart <laughs> and then my um my toes are guava and that's by um revlon so as i was um doing this i wanted to just explain one thing this is i'm not like Whoa, another, um, that was just my pen, guys. My, um, and there's, like, other beauty gurus or whatever that have, like, really expensive items in their, in their closet. Like, my closet, like, I come from, like, a small town. So my closet is basically, sorry, guys, basically, um, has a lot of Walmart slash Kmart slash some Old Navy stuff. But, yes, that's it. So, question one. Question one to the closet confidential tag is, is, what is the oldest item in your closet? Now, I'm at college, so I cannot bring a whole closet here. But the two items that are the oldest is the one I don't have with me right now. But it's this um, yellow um, top. And it's yellow, and it had like a yellow, yellow undershirt under it. Under it. I used to wear that shirt. I got it when I was like 10. Okay, you guys. So it's like 10 years old right now. And I was so obsessed with it. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, well, my, I had like a fad where I like to wear like sweaters that had like the connect the connected um like tang top underneath it. So that like you didn't have to like put one on and buy an extra tang top. So that was sort of what it was like. But it was like for the summer. And oh my god, I wear that every day. And, like, there's like a little hole in it, and I still <laughs> wear that. But my other one that I have is, is this shirt. And sorry guys, I can't really like hold the camera and do this at the same time because I don't have a tripod. But this is one of my shirts. It's this um, shirt. It's a No Boundary shirt. No, a Route 66 shirt. So I got it at Kmart. I don't remember even buying this shirt. <laughs> and I remember, um, like some of my previous previous vlogs and stuff that like Kmart stuff has a better quality and it's just way better than Walmart stuff especially if you buy like five dollar shirts which I'll show you what happens when you buy five dollar shirts at Walmart and the funny thing is is when I got this shirt I was in I don't know what grade I was in but it still fits me and everything it's just like when I wear stuff now the shirt looks like it, it shrunk probably a long time ago and now it looks like a midriff, like no lie, it really does. So, yeah, so that was the uh, two um, oldest items I have besides my, like, unmentionables and stuff, which is probably, like, TMI for you guys. Sorry for that. So question two is, is what is the newest item in your closet? Well, I have, um, two... The one that I'm wearing right now, if you can't see it, it's a shirt like this. And I have another one. It's not, it's kind of like the same thing, but it's blue. And you have to wear like an undershirt over it. I mean, under it, not over it. <laughs> and it's, I got it for Christmas and I love it. It's like the best thing ever. It's really comfy. It's kind of like a poncho-ish kind of, um shirt but it's really good you can wear like anything under it. i mean i just have like this white tank top it's like an exercise sort of tank top thing and it was from walmart it's new banders but this one is really qu high quality i don't know how much it was probably like ten dollars and then the other one i have is, is i got this um on black friday i think i don't know was black friday i don't remember or, or not but it's my owl pajamas so this is what the bottoms look like these are from, um, White, White Stag, and these are the bottoms. See, they got little owls on them. 
it's hard doing this one-handed, you guys. It's really, really tough, especially when you have to, like, zoom out like this. And this other, the undershirt, the shirt has an L on it. Like this. And it says, who gives a hoot? And it's so cute. I mean, like, I'm obsessed with owls, you guys, so you guys know. I need to have some owl pajamas. I don't have an L shirt yet. When I do, that'll be my outfit of the day. So, those go in the basket. Okay, what is the most expensive item in your wardrobe? The most expensive <laughs> item I probably have that I can think of was when I came to college, I got, I, I am obsessed with hoodies, but I don't have that many. <laughs> I only have like four. So I don't call that obsessive just yet. But it was the first ever item I got that, well, no, the second item that I got from the bookstore at my college, and it was a hoodie. I don't know how much, I think it was like 30 or $40, I'm not really sure how much it was. So that's like the most expensive item I probably have in my whole closet. And let me just say, it's the most comfortable hoodie ever. Last week, no lie, I kid you not, I wore it maybe all days of the week except today and Monday, I think. And it's really high quality, so that's why it's a lot. I had another hoodie that I got and it was a pink one and it did not stand up to my standards. It was I think forty dollars and the um pocket I don't know what you call it like the pocket part like well, this is what it looks like you guys. Hoodie see hoodie the pocket part not on this one like the pocket part I don't know if you can see it um T was tearing off and they didn't even wash it yet and it tore off you know and I always have this problem with like I always feel like if I wash hoodies they probably will shrink but this one didn't or it kind of did a little bit but not like you would think so that was the third question what is the cheapest most slash most affordable item in closet I would like to say that probably all of my items in my closet, except for the hoodie that I just showed you, probably is the cheapest and most, the most bargains I have in my closet. Like, the one thing I like is, is you can go to, like, Walmart, and you can have, like, $10. You can buy two shirts, two outfits, whatever. It doesn't really matter okay but like i don't have like a nordstrom or like a macy's or somewhere where i can go like all the time so yes so that's that question everything in my closet is affordable <laughs> um what is the biggest bargain mm, i don't know out of all of my stuff. Um, probably when I went to do the Black Friday sale at Walmart, I got a lot of um stuff. I got the pajamas, I got another owl set of pajamas, I got some clothes, I think, like shirts, but I don't think I have them with me. And the one thing about my closet that I think is really, really weird is that I have lots of, I have like a couple purple items. And for the life of me, I don't know why, because I do not like the color purple for some strange reason. I don't like the color purple. But yet, I have lots of items like that. And then like I have like, if you see like from here that I have right now, and then if you look at my closet that I have in college right now, I have lots of stripes, which... I have to get out of that fad, you guys. I don't know what, but I need to. So, that answers question. What is the biggest waste of money? I have a few. Yes, well, just two. Well, no, three.
shockingly, it's a striped shirt. It's, I don't know when I got this shirt. I really don't know why. But I got that one. This one, it's orange, and they have a blue one that matches it. And I do not know why I bought these shirts because I do I have not worn these at all since I got them. And I cannot tell you when I got these shirts because I just don't know. It wasn't like five or six years ago, I know that. So this is what it looks like, this shirt. And I always hate it because, like, I buy clothes and then, like, when I have to get new clothes or, like, when I buy new clothes, like, I don't even remember the last time you guys went shopping for clothes, really. Like, the last time I got clothes was, like, for Christmas. I haven't bought clothes since then just because, like, you know, if you're going to buy, like, if you go to, like, Nordstrom or something and you buy these clothes... Or if you go to, like, Walmart or that, like, you want clothes that are going to last you. Like, I don't know. I haven't, like, updated my wardrobe forever, <laughs> you guys. Like, I still have clothes I've worn since, like, middle school. You know, like, no lie, no joke, I have. So that's the first one. The second one is I got this for my birthday. And my mom got this for me. And to this day, when I got it, I got this when I was in the 10th grade. I think it was the 10th grade. Maybe. I don't remember. Anyhow, I got these in the 10th grade. It's like this dress-ish type of shirt. And I have not worn this ever. I, I always put it on. And then when I look in the mirror and I see myself in it, I'm just like, this does not look good on me at all. And I don't want to, like, get rid of it. Because you know when, like, you, get, you have, like, birthday presents or, like, um... Christmas presents and you have them and you don't wear them but then you're like I don't want to get rid of them because they were like for my birthday and for Christmas and I feel like if I throw it away I'm hurting that person's feelings especially my mom like you know guys you don't want to like upset your mom or anything so this is what it looks like it's this type of shirt it's like I don't know like an I don't know what kind of style is I forget what kind it is but yeah it's like this it has an undershirt in it and for the life of me guys I just cannot wear this shirt. I don't know why. This does not look good on me. And I don't want to get rid of it. And like someday I'm going to wear this shirt. No lie, I will. Okay. The last shirt is, as I talked about these before. And this shirt I actually got, I had, th had to get it three times. The first time I got a hole in the armpit. And this was from washing it. And this was from washing it at my house. So I got this in the summer and it was my favorite shirt. It was his most favorite color, which is like this light bluish color like this. This is what it looks like, you guys. I can't, you know, I told you before. I can't really like show you guys and hold the camera at the same time or my phone camera. And then the second time, I don't know what happened the second time to it. Oh, I think I got like in the side a hole. And now this shirt Literally, you guys, I'm still wearing this. I'm just like April Athena 7. If you've seen her vlogs with her towels, this is like the same exact thing. I was like the third time the shot, and I said, I'm not getting any more of these. And I did actually. And they have the same problem. One of the seams, and it's always one of the hems of the seams on the sleeve, and it's always the same sleeve. It's the right sleeve. It gets like, look, it gets, there's no hem. Like, the hem just fell off. I don't know how it did. It happened when I was um, washing it. And then I got a hole in the collar. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. That was the first thing that happened. And instead of throwing it away, I'm just like, I just asked my mom to just use it. So, yeah. She sewed it for me. No lie. She did. I can't sew. Really good. So the last question, that was the biggest waste of money, technically, of the, these shirts. I have a green one and a yellow one, and they have the same problem, and I do not feel like they're in white because it's like I only wore them for like two or three times. So if people have a problem with it, well, guess what? Too bad. So the last question is, is a question that Rach loves, which her channel is like amazing too, did was your three favorite outfits right now. So the first two are the same. I got this at um, a fair. And it's a, just a tie-dye shirt. And this shirt is like, it's an X, it, I don't know what it is. It's an extra large. And it looks like it's like a 3X on me. Like literally, I could wear this without any 
thing on because it looks like a 90 shirt. Like, I could seriously wear this to bed and nobody would care. It's, like, really frumpy on me, but it's comfortable. And I wear it with, like, my pants. Like, on the weekends, I'll wear this shirt because I don't care. It's the most comfortable shirt I have. And I like it because it's really, really large on me and it's comfortable. Like, you everybody likes to wear heavy, comfortable clothing every once in a while. So this is what it looks like. It's just a tie-dye shirt. I only wore it once in school, but I wear it just whenever. It means like your shirt where you're like, I'll just wear it around the house. Who cares what people say? So that's the first one. The second one is the same one. That one was short sleeve. This one I wear all the time. I always wear it on a Tuesday and Thursday because those are like my favorite days to wear like my favorite outfits. And this is another one. It's a tie-dye shirt and I got this at a boarding store near my house and it's a long sleeve shirt and it is really really comfortable I mean it's the same size but it covers like a lot it's really it's not like long it's like a moderate long shirt but I like it anyhow and then the last one I have is a striped shirt and I got this at Walmart I don't know when I got this really but it's it's like a summer sort of outfit it's striped and it has it's fun it's orange and yellow and it's bright like I wear this when I feel like really down in the dumps you guys so this is what it looks like and it's amazing I love this shirt it's like the best ever so I tag any of you guys that want to see this video or do the closet confidential tag. I know it was this one's really, really long, but I hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe, comment below if you have any of your favorite shirts, or if you want me to do a video on any of my other shirts. Whatever you want. I'll see you guys next week for my vlog, and I hope you guys enjoy.